NSU women's soccer coach Chase Wooten. You guys have signed seven uh, f high school seniors to national letters of intent. Uh, just tell me, give me a, a general idea about the overall class. It was one with the 2012 class coming in. It was a large class. We had a big group to replace after the 2011 season. Uh, we were really pretty quality target specific on this one. We basically went in and said, this recruit needs to be able to come in and play as a freshman, or it's probably not the right class to add depth. Um, so we're pretty excited about that. I think everybody can come in uh, and contribute, which is not an easy thing to do. Now, clearly, I don't think everybody's going to come in and start. We still have a huge returning group. Uh, but in the grand scheme of things, I think they're all players. How important is that to bring in people who not only could start in four years, but can push, you know, they can play right away right. and then push your current players? I think it's critical. And there's some years where you know you need some depth in some positions, and there's some years where you just feel like you need some really stellar players in all positions. I, I felt like this was a pretty broad class still. We've got a goalkeeper all the way from a couple backs to a couple midfielders to some forwards. So um, in the grand scheme of things, I, I think we hit what our needs were going to be um, with losing Sordal and then losing Hisa Turner. I mean, th those are two big immediate kids. And then we had some really good depth in the rest of that senior class too. And so um, I think we've, we've addressed those needs, and I think we'll probably pedigree better from it. Well, you're trying to build on uh, your most successful season yet at NSU. You're entering your fourth season. Um, for, for those who don't know, you know, tell us a little bit about the recruiting process and how, how rewarding and how exciting it is to get these players to commit to you. Oh, it's, it's probably a pretty emotional deal. <laughs> the, uh, what ends up happening for us in women's soccer is, is we've probably lost our minds on some degree, but um, the recruitment of a sophomore is not atypical. Uh, we're pretty heavy. We'll catch sophomores towards the end of their sophomore year um, and, and the ID process. And then typically um, by the junior year, Thanksgiving time, we're starting to solicit visits and things along those lines from these kids. And so, um, anyways, I, typically I would say this class was done by about April of their uh, junior year, somewhere in that capacity. Maybe one or two trickled in in May. Um, but we, it's, we're, we're way ahead of the curve. In our scenario of on signing day, it's, it's kind of a formality for the most part. We believe that in women's soccer, their verbal commitments are pretty strong. Well, let's let's just run down the list here. And, you know, sure. Give me a couple quick hitters on it. We have Michaela Carson, uh, midfielder from the Woodlands, Texas. Mickey's. Uh, it's a, it's a kind of a funny story. We were recruiting a kid that was a year older than her from the Woodlands um, a couple of years ago, and uh, because of that, I think we had a little bit of a name brand there um, as we started to solicit M Mickey from a recruiting standpoint. And at the end of the day, um, she comes in. She's a really good midfielder. Uh, she hits hard. She tackles well. She's creative on the ball. I mean, she's going to be a pretty complete player. And if you look at our a big chunk of our success for the 2013 year is going to be, can we stay healthy with these returners and retain well and things along those lines. And so Mickey comes into that situation, gives us immediate depth, should challenge for a spot right away, and it will make us a much better group. Madison Dobbs, she's a center mid from Oklahoma City. And historically, I've liked kids that can absolutely fly. Um, and I've not been terribly concerned about size. Uh, if you're not 5'10", so be it. Uh, but we want kids with some pace. Madison's a good blend of that. She's a good athlete, uh, but also comes in. She's, she's got great height. She's a good ball winner. Um, I think in some of the more aggressive games, she'll come in, probably even with like a Spriggs of the, on the current roster, that can come in and actually, um, you know, bang it out as far as to do the physical play. McKenna Jenton, forward from North Richland Hills, Texas. McKenna's a funny story. I uh, saw her in Austin during her junior year, and I really felt like this was a good, good player, and I was really concerned we were going to be late. Um, but her, her family's a soccer family, and um, she knows the business, so to speak. And um, Anyways, in the grand scheme of things, McKinney comes in as a forward for us. Uh, I think she could probably could play in the back. She does a nice job as a defender for her high school. Uh, but for us, in this capacity, we see her coming in as, a, as an outside mid or an attacking forward, which for us is basically the same position. Um, and so she's athletic, she's tall, she's good on the ball. Uh, she, she'll challenge. Paige Talley, goalkeeper from Owasso. You know, we, with, with Maggie had a really pretty good year. Um, she's gotten so much better. That's their returning goalkeeper. Um, and Hannah came in and did some good things too. But we felt, Lauren and I both felt like it was time to, to add some depth to that position. And so um, Paige comes in. It was just a good fit. We liked Paige. She's a good athlete. Uh, she's got great size. She's played at a fair level. Um, and so I think she can come in and give us some depth and challenge for a spot, which is great. Lauren Wagner, defender from Tulsa. The, uh, out of the Tulsa area, there's a group called the Tulsa Hurricanes, uh, or TSC Hurricanes, and, and they're probably probably a little biased in this because we like that team, but that group is, if they're not the best club team in the country, they're the second best club team in the country. They're that phenomenal, and she's a good player on that team. Um, obviously, there's, that team is sending kids to OU and A&M and Notre Dame and that pedigree, uh, and she starts on that group. And so in that capacity with Lauren, we're pretty excited about when she comes in. Her dad's an alumni. Um, but just a good fit, and, and I think, you know, with uh, our outside right back, Emily, 
we're at a place where we're looking to see if we can move Emily Birch up the field, and if that was to open up, that could help us with Wagner um, finding a spot. So I mean, it's it's a little bit intricate depending on on what the availability is on spots and positions on that back line, but I mean, she should be able to play at the level tomorrow. Allison Webb, midfielder from Broken Arrow. Um, actually, she's actually from Union, if I think correctly. But um, that may Went be to Union High School. Union High School she's from, from Broken Arrow. Um, yeah. But no, uh, you know, Allie's uh, high school coach is an NSU former coach, um, and so there's a good connection there with Brian, and so. Uh, in the grand scheme of things for Allie, she comes in, she's, she's, she's a little different than Mickey. I think she could probably play a holding midfield a little bit better. Uh, but similar in the idea that they can do the dirty work, um, they can hit players, they can win balls in the air. I mean, the, the ta- they're not going to you know, pull off tackles, things like that. But I felt like athletically, our team has been pretty good. Um, technically, and meaning just completing passes and being salty on the ball, sometimes we have our off games. I think Allie comes in and can give us you know, a really complete player, um, even, at, even at 18 years old. And finally, Jordan Woodruff, goalkeeper from Smithtown, New York. A funny story with Jordan. Um, we went into the there's the ECNL level, which is on the on the pedigree of, of girls soccer right now. It doesn't mean it has all the best players, but it does focus the lens typically in that league to have some of the, the premier teams. And she and, and Lauren Wagner are both on ECNL level teams, as is Mickey Carlson coming in. Um, so we, we happened to bump into her in San Antonio. We emailed her, and, and she wants to be a vet. And, and issues, you know, pre-med side things are really quite good. Our pre-biology side is very good. And so... The academic side for Jordan, I think, was a good fit. Who's really a talented student coming out of high school, and then in goal for us, um, I think she's got she's got a great opportunity to come in and really challenge for a spot on the first day. She's also, from a leadership standpoint, she's she's kind and considerate, and I think people will kind of rally behind her. I think she'll do a phenomenal for job for us, both from a character standpoint and also from a leadership and, and, and getting the job done in goal. So we're super excited about Jordan. Well, Coach Chase Wooten, uh, big congratulations on, on signing seven players to National Letters of Intent, and uh, hopefully you know, we'll all see him on the pitch next year. We're very excited, too. Thanks, Cedric.